What's up guys, it's James Vec back with another video and today I have a topic that might cause a little bit of debate. Now if you're watching this video then you already know that today I'm giving you my top 10 Brazilian Premier League footballers of all time. Let's introduce number 10 on the list. Now I chopped and changed with this spot quite a few times but I've eventually settled on Ramirez. Now this man would run all day long. Similar in style to that of N'Golo Kante, Ramirez had an engine like no other and would rarely let anything get past him. For five straight years he was one of the first names on that Chelsea team sheet and was absolutely instrumental in their Champions League winning campaign. Ramirez also contributed 17 goals and 15 assists during his time in the Chelsea shirt. Coming in at number 9 we have David Luiz. Now to some, Luiz might be a surprise inclusion on this list but allow me to explain my reasons. I think most would agree that David Luiz that we're currently seeing at Arsenal and during his later years at Chelsea is not the best David Luiz that we have seen. However, people do forget how impressive he was in his first three years at Chelsea. Add in the fact that he won seven trophies, again including the Premier League and Champions League medals, he's also on the list. In at number eight, we have Gilberto Silva. Instrumental during the invincible season of 2003 and 2004, Gilberto Silva will be regarded as one of Arsenal's best midfielders of the last 20 years. Defensively excellent and great on the ball, Gilberto was no stranger to chipping in with the odd goal either. 17 goals and 11 assists in 170 appearances for a defensive midfielder is a very respectable return. How Arsenal could do with somebody like him right about now. For number 7, we head over to Merseyside and we've got Philippe Coutinho. Now despite being the only person on my list to have no silverware to his name, few could argue over the inclusion of Philippe Coutinho. No player in the Premier League scored more goals from outside the area than Coutinho's 19 goals during his time at the club. Based on ability alone, Coutinho is one of the very best on this list, so for me, he's number 7. Coming in at number 6, we have Osvaldo Geraldo Jr, or as most of us may know him, Janinho or Juninho Paulista. Standing at just 5 feet 5 inches tall, Juninho was an absolute magician with the ball at his feet. In terms of player impact, Juninho is unrivaled on this list. He was simply head and shoulders above all his teammates at Middlesbrough. Despite being relegated at the end of the 1997 season, Juninho helped Middlesbrough to the FA Cup and League Cup finals. It was for these reasons that Juninho won the Premier League Player of the Season award in 1997 and in 2007 he was voted by Middlesbrough fans as their greatest ever player. For number 5 we head back over to Merseyside. Now the signing of Virgil van Dijk was vital for Liverpool but you could argue that Alisson has been just as important and has removed all the question marks that ever existed over the goalkeeping spot at Liverpool. He's great with his feet, has excellent distribution and has that match winning save in his locker. In short, he has little to no real weaknesses and has established himself as one of the world's best goalkeepers. He has already won a Champions League title, Super Cup and Club World Cup as part of an excellent Liverpool side and he looks all almost certain to add to that at least a Premier League title this season too. Like Alisson before him, in this list, Edison was a much welcomed addition to a Man City side that hugely lacked in this area. Again similar to that of Alisson, Edison helped transform the City side and the style in which they now play. Given how Guardiola likes to play out from the back, it was crucial that he got it right this time round. During his time in the City shirt, Edison has had 42 clean sheets and has already picked up 7 trophies along the way, not to mention a spot in last year's PFA team of the season. Now choosing between Alisson and Edison in 4th and 5th position was extremely tricky, but I've nudged Edison slightly ahead purely down to his bigger haul of trophies and the fact that he's been doing it for that little bit longer in the Premier League. So in at number 4 is Edison. In at number 3 we have Willian. Willian has been a consistently strong performer for Chelsea. During this time he has amassed 32 goals and 36 assists in 220 Premier League games while totaling 57 goals and 58 assists in 320 games across all competitions. Putting his goals and assists to one side, Willian has also won five major trophies which include two Premier League titles, one FA Cup, one League Cup and one Europa League title. He has paced the burn, has great feet, delivers an excellent ball and is dangerous from set pieces. Pretty much everything you would want from your winger. At second place, we have a player that doesn't always get the credit he deserves. Most of the Man City glory is taken by Aguero, Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling and company. But I'm sure they would all admit this man is crucial to everything that runs through the spine of that City side. Fernandinho effortlessly took over the reins in the centre of the park. His role in the City side is similar to that of Gilberto Silva's years ago. His tackles and interception numbers are through the roof. He covers every blade of grass and shields the back four incredibly well. He's one of those City players you only really see how good he is when he's not in the side. 
three Premier League titles, four League Cups, one Community Shield and a place in the PFA 2018-19 Team of the Season makes him the most decorated player on my list and cements his second place position. Number one on my list of the top 10 Brazilian Premier League footballers to ever played in the Premier League, Roberto Firmino. He's the first ever Brazilian to score 50 Premier League goals and he's showing no signs of stopping. He also has 31 Premier League assists to his name, which is more than Mane and Salah and further confirms his role as an all-rounder in this Liverpool side, not just a striker. He holds up the ball, he brings others into play, he's quick, he can score, he can assist, left foot, right foot, with his head, he can do it all. Roll all of this together and you've got yourself the best Brazilian player we've seen in this league. So now you've seen my top 10 list, let me know yours in the comment section below. Give us your thoughts and we'll catch you in the next video.